Hello. Happy Monday, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. It is the 25th of June. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm Haley Harmon alongside Lee Cruz. How are you? I'm doing good. Today kicks off Lexington Eats Week. Oh, yeah. We went out and visited one of our favorite local restaurants today. You're going to see them later on in the week. The Lexington work. Eats Week kicks off two day. It's two weeks long this year. Mm -hmm. And it's for $29, you get a three course meal at so many. It's all locally owned restaurants. Yeah. And they are really pulling out all the stops with their menus. And it gives you a chance to uh, maybe uh, dine at a place you normally don't go to. Yeah. And uh, like uh, the thing I like about it is sort of the menu is sort of pre-prepared for you. Yeah. I mean, they give you some options, but you know, you kind of know what you're limited to mm -hmm. when you take advantage of it, which you're not paralyzed by some huge decision. Yeah. Does, does going to a restaurant stress you out? Yeah. Yeah. It can be very tough for you. Well, I don't want to call out names, but like the Cheesecake Factory, for oh, instance. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever gone to the Cheesecake Factory Look at that phone book? They, they bring you a literal phone like, book. I got a, it's going to take me 20 minutes I to go pretty, through it. I love the Cheesecake Factory, I but too, before but I go, I pretty much have to mentally have already decided what right. I want because yeah it is overwhelming so yeah this they do kind of go ahead and decide your menu for you You have a couple of choices but yeah so we went out to Azor today we're gonna you'll see that story uh, this week but it kicks off tonight so go online Lexington Eats Week we've got all the information on lex18.com's website now on today's show though we're gonna go visit our friends down in Berea yes we had so much fun in Berea recently yeah. they've got awesome art workshops coming up this summer and what they tell us there's like a hundred or something of these awesome yeah, workshops like 30 I think if you're wanting to learn any type of art skill, just have you know some fun with your friends and family this summer, and also get to meet and greet with some real artists in Berea that are so amazing in their craft. Um, we're going to tell you about their workshops coming up in a little bit. We tried our hand at um, forging. Forging. Mm -hmm. We we weren't very good, but they taught us nonetheless. But we didn't get hurt. <laughs> we didn't get hurt. And you could easily, I think, if you. We're really careless. Yeah. Also, uh, cloggers from Winchester. The Star Power Cloggers are yeah. here, and they're going to be performing for us. You clogged in your days in Winchester. I'm clogging tonight. He's clogging tonight. Yeah. A toilet near I'm, you. Uh, no, right. I'm, I'm well known for clogging. It had to happen. I'm yeah. sorry. You led me there. You knew I was going to You set me up. <laughs> uh, a couple. We teased this earlier. A couple of big announcements we wanted to make. Yes. One of which, uh, the Live with Lee and Haley uh, family's growing. No, we're not pregnant. No, that's not what we mean. <laughs> what we're talking about, well, there's a couple of ways we're growing. One in audience-wise, because our friends at Eastern Kentucky Broadcast, EKB, Out stationed down at Pikeville, decided they want this show. So we'll be live there every day, 1230. Yes. So we're excited that they've come on board and yes. we'll be talking to those people in Pikeville and the surrounding communities. It's just each a couple of days, day. right? Or a couple it weeks? It happens on July 2nd. July 2nd. Is when we launch there. How exciting is that? Thank you to everybody who has, is watching today and has watched since we launched almost a year ago, it which is be hard soon. to believe. July and so, 10th, right? Yeah, you've yeah. got us to where we are, and we just appreciate it so much. We have so much fun on this show, and we hope you entertain you because, or we hope, yeah, we entertain you as much as we entertain ourselves. And we're also <laughs> going to uh, take the show on the road for the first time coming up uh, here in a couple of weeks because uh, at 4, uh, on the 4 p.m., I'm going to be doing uh, some uh, destinations that you should visit. You can discover Kentucky, where you can go to yes. various places. We were going to do Natural Bridge today. Mm -hmm. Weather's not great, so we're going to postpone that and do that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you places here on Live with Lee and Haley, and then take the show on the road. Uh, we'll announce where we're going uh, in a couple of weeks. But because, it's I mean, you can, you can miss out on so many great vacation spots in your own state because you think, oh, I live here, you know, I'm in Kentucky all the time. We're going to showcase some really amazing spots where you can go with your loved ones and just friends, just even for a day trip. Some of these places are great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, so many fun and exciting things. Now you want to show your child? I've had a child. All right, so this is going to be looks our Looks just like her. Looks just like me. Um, let's get to our hot topics. Our first one today is the pictures you guys have all been wanting to see of my brand new dog. Uh, there he is. Here. I know we told you last week we'd show you photos, and then our show got preempted from some national coverage, so I'm finally getting mm -hmm. to show today. This is Ollie. So you've named him. I've named you, you him. You denied us the opportunity. I to know. Name I him. finally spent some quality time with him this weekend. We communed. He shared with me. Oh my gosh, that's there's him asleep a, on my couch. There's a couple of bottles of booze right there. And, yep. Yeah. This is after our first successful walk. Mm -hmm. He christened my neighborhood. This Dogs kind of know how to walk right away. What do you mean successful? Well, I mean, he didn't like run away on the leash or anything yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. So that's him asleep under my end table. I couldn't find him for a while. Right. There he was. Uh huh. But I honestly feel like these photos just don't do it justice. So, we have a very special guest joining us today on Live with Lee and Haley. There this is. is Mr. Ollie. Let's cover up your privates. This is Mr. Ollie. Say hello, everyone. 
Yeah. He's a little corgi. He's nine weeks old, a Pembroke Welsh corgi. Pembroke Welsh. Pembroke Welsh. I feel, I mean, he's a regal dog. Well, whatever it is, he'll eat poop like any other dog. No, he won't. Yes, he will, won't you? I love him you so much, like everyone. Buddy, buddy. Yep. Okay. I said last week I couldn't wait to hear you puppy dog talk to him. Yeah. So well, I talk to him like a man, though. That's right. Please don't run it. Let me hold him for a minute. Go ahead. Here he is. All right. Look at him. He's so sweet, guys. I mean, I grew up with pets in my family, but this is my first, like, dog of my own in adulthood. And after just a week... I can't imagine life without he's him. He's a killer. I love him Look so at him. Much. He's all. He's, he can't. He loves human flesh. He he is a vicious he's like, dog. Ah, ah, okay. Ah. Bite his face. Attack. Kill. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so right. this is little. His name is Oliver, but I'm calling him Ollie for short. And I just I love him. I love him so much. He's so sweet. Want a beverage? What is that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, thank you everybody that's took it, taken an interest in him. And yeah, send us pictures of your pets to our Facebook page. Let us know how you decided to name them. It took me a solid week to decide what his name was. All right. So, hello, Ollie. So say, much, Ollie. Say goodbye, Ollie. Bye. We got to go. All right.